once you go down one side, a team defensively wants to be compact. So once you've got two or three passes in, the space is then going to be the opposite side of the pitch. So it was important that they understood that, that after a couple of passes, the switch was on and then all of a sudden you create an overload on the opposite side of the pitch. The big man then comes back out to me. As I get on the half turn, I want you to threaten the other side of him. Okay? And it might be that the big man has to come and threaten him. So you come towards the ball. Both of you come towards the ball. Try and suck one of these two in, or both of them. Then I can play the longer ball into the big man. And trying to get him on the wrong side of the centre of half or the full back, and we get a goal. Happy? Trying to get the, the, uh, sorry, the defenders as narrow as we possibly could, working on one side of the field to enable to come out and then obviously, you know, that killer pass on the opposite side. Um, initially, I was getting them to play the ball into feet so we could get an underlap, we could get an overlap. We might get someone to face up to play a one-two to get in behind. Um, but then once we got, got used to that and they were, they were definitely getting used to that, then I was trying to say to them, right, OK, well, as the ball comes out on the switch, instead of receiving it to feet, can you threaten the back of the last defender? So instead of like receiving it to feet and expecting runners to get in there for you, can you do it yourself? Can you kill them?